So, Alex, the day's finally here. You've been at the Helping Hands group home for eight years. We've been through a lot in that time. We have. And now you're finally leaving to live with your brother. My brother Gabe. It says here he lives in Haven Springs, Colorado. Is that correct? That's a big move. Do you have any plans as far as school or a job? My brother said I might pick up a few shifts at the bar he works at. So you'd be dealing with people? Maybe. Does your brother know about your... issues? Is that an official interview question, Dr. Lin? Alex, you know that I care about you. With everything that has happened, I just want what's best for you. He doesn't know. No one will once I leave this place. I'll just be a normal girl in a normal town. Gabe said to meet him at the bridge. I can't wait to see him. Holy shit, that's really him. <laughs> oh, what's the protocol for reuniting with your long lost sister after eight years? I'm cool with the hug if you are. <laughs> oh, is crushing my ribs still part of the protocol? <laughs> Just so good to see you again. I can't believe you're here. Believe it. She's all grown up. And I missed it. I'm a lot taller, huh? Yeah, yeah. Time will do that to you. Are you ready to see the town? Hell yeah, let's rock and roll. I don't know why I said that. Me neither. <laughs> but I love the enthusiasm. Okay, the uh, Black Lantern is just up the street. I mentioned I live above a bar, right? Even better. How was the trip? 
You must be wiped. I'm good. The drive through the mountains was amazing. Eleanor, hey, Alex just got here. Alex, meet Eleanor Lath, owner of the flower shop and honest to God, royalty of Haven Springs. Oh, it is so nice to finally meet you. Welcome. Oh. We are so glad to have you, Alex. Gabe told us all about you. I'm glad to be here. She seems nice. Yeah, she's great. A little quick on the draw with hugs, though. Yeah, no shit. Welcome to Haven. this the first official stop on the tour? Absolutely. If you follow me inside, you'll find our prize exhibit. Gabe Chen buys makeup flowers for angry girlfriend. Oh, I can't wait. It's gotten so-so reviews. <laughs> hey, Gabe. Riley, meet my sister, Alex. What's your greatest weakness? Uh, what? It's for a college interview. We've been debating this one for days. Gabe insists that I give an honest answer. It's always better to give an honest answer. And what's the alternative? Lying? Not lying, more like strategic half-truthing. Like I work too hard or I save too many puppies. They could smell that bullshit a mile away. I've been trying to warn her. Oh yeah? What would you do? I would be honest. It's usually harder, but then you come off as more authentic. Called it. Wow. You two are already wonder twinning your way through town. Seems that way. <laughs> Alex, help me out real quick. What do I get for Charlotte? Sunflowers are her favorite, but I read online that Lily of the Valley is great for saying sorry. What do you think? What uh, exactly are you apologizing for? This time around, maybe the toilet seat? <laughs> Go with the white bouquet. If you're trying to say sorry. That I am, and that I will. You know, if Mac brought me flowers half as often, well, he wouldn't be Mac. Is it still on and off with you two? Sort of. More on right now, but wait five minutes and ask again. <laughs> Put this on my tap? Yeah. Are you sure you don't want to just tell Mac about the interview? No, not yet. I'll handle it. Okay, your call. We can leave when you're ready. Sounds good. Might as well have a look around before we leave. Mandatory for any enchanted garden. How to Kill Everything You Touch, a flower book by Alex Chen. You can make anything pretty if you shove a bouquet inside. Oh, no category for estranged brother you haven't seen in eight years because you were ripped apart by the foster care system? That's a shame. Perfect. That guy's bad to the gnome. 
Right? I heard he won the Nobel Peace Prize. Oh, God, please stop. No problem. <laughs> the tiny house movement is really taking off. Aw, I wonder who they are. Cute, right? Yeah. Are those your grandparents? No, but they were like family. Alistair and Ava Murphy. Nana bought the building from them before I was born. What if I don't get in? Shit, what if I do get in? Am I really ready to leave this place? If Riley's so anxious about leaving this town, I guess it can't be too bad. What if I don't get in? Shit. Hopefully my advice doesn't derail her entire life. I'm sure it's fine. Does anyone actually sit in the decorative store chair? Ready. Thanks. See you soon, Rai. How long have you and Charlotte been dating? About three years now, I think. You must spend a lot of money on bouquets. She's worth it. Yeah. Watch your feet now. It's getting windy. My feet are fine. Well, here we are. I bet Gabe keeps the flower shop in business all by himself. Gabe Chen. Flower delivery man. I know, right? Let me duck in here and smooth everything out. It'll only be a minute. I'll introduce you properly later. Once, you know. It's no problem, really. <sighs> it's gonna be longer than a minute. Trust me. Oh. Hi there. Gabe's your brother, right? I'm Ethan. Charlotte's my mom. Hi, Ethan. I'm Alex. What you reading? Ninth Warden. Oh, has she found the Scepter of Serenity yet? <sighs> She's looking for the Scepter, but I think she'll need the Bangle of Vanishing to get to it. I wanted to turn invisible so bad when I was a kid. Still do sometimes, to be honest. You can get away with anything if you're invisible. And no one can stop you. If you like comics, I can show you the one I'm making. I'd love to see it. You can keep it if you want. I made a bunch of copies to sell in the record store. This is awesome, Ethan. I can't wait to read it. Are you going camping? You know the mines? I know they exist. There are a bunch of old tunnels all around the mountains. I think I found a way into one. I mean, I'm not an expert on old mines, but that would scare the crap out of me. I just like to explore sometimes. It's no big deal. Oh man, I shouldn't have told you that. I know we just met, but be careful out there, okay? You don't need to worry, really. I think I'll check out that record store. Nice meeting you, Ethan.
Oh, wow. This place reminds me of the shop Gabe and I used to go to. <laughs> He'd save up for weeks from his shitty car wash job just to buy us something to listen to. It's crazy. Here I am, years later, still waiting for my big brother in the record store. Except this time, I'm buying the record. No way. Citizens of Haven Springs, that was the Wednesday with Bomb Squad. Up next, a very special request from some chick. Sorry, the store's actually closed right now, which is confusing because it's obviously open. Wait, are you Alex? That's me. Wow. Gabe's been talking about you coming since forever. I'm Ryan. Hi, Ryan. Nice to meet you. So, all the way from Portland, huh? What do you think of Haven? I've seen some cool things so far. Like, this record store is amazing. I didn't expect anything like this here. Yep, it's our cultural landmark for sure. So, the store is closed, but they opened it just for you? You must be picking up something pretty important. Yeah, well, you could say that. An outdoorsman's guide to the calls of common birds. Wow, that's... Not what I was expecting at all. It's a pretty obscure record. <laughs> the National Park Service gave it five stars. <laughs> so, you're a... Colorado State Park Ranger. It's all coming into focus. Well, bummer the store's closed. I was thinking of getting a gift for Gabe, but I'll figure something else out. I don't even know if he still listens to records. He does. Charlotte just got him a record player for his birthday. I'm pretty sure he put something on hold. So you don't work here? Steph won't mind. Be the easiest sale she's ever made. If I could just find the whole list. Hmm. <sighs> Damn. I know I saw it before. Wanna help me look? Oh, yeah. Any ideas on where to start? No idea. Steph leaves stuff all over the place. I'm detecting an indie pattern. Okay, a seriously obscure indie pattern. Color me impressed. Wait, is that the hold list? Don't freak out. I'm just gonna... 
Okay, just kidding. I'm surprised you got out of there with both your hands. Thing is, she's sitting on the hold list. We could use her toy to lure her away. If we can find it. Give me a hand. Gabe's record is in here, but which one is it? Any luck finding that cat toy? Not yet. So, what's the prediction? What do you think Gabe listens to these days? I think Gabe's gotten so emo that he doesn't like instruments anymore. Just dudes screaming and crying into the microphone. Dear God, let's hope not. <laughs> well, there's only one way to find out. Let's see if we can find that cat toy. Maybe that drawer? It could be Celine Dion's greatest hits. You mean the essential Celine Dion? She is a Canadian treasure. Nothing. Looks like a toy could live here. What if he exclusively listens to Smash Mouth? Wait for it. Cover bands. Ugh. I disown him. <laughs> Damn. You could check the register. Okay, but what if it's three unbroken hours of improvisational jazz flute? That he listens to while writing scathing film reviews. Yeah, and sipping a $50 Americano. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Alas, no toy. Maybe in the junk box. And we have a winner. Good guess. <laughs> Be safe out there. If I die a horrible cat-related death, tell Gabe I'm sorry. <laughs> Who's the superior mammal now? All right. <laughs> Good idea. Thanks. For a guy who lives in the woods, I'm pretty good at this customer service thing. Should have known. I can see why Gabe fits in so well here.
Wait. Seriously? Gabe and I used to listen to records together all the time. We'd forget about the world and rock out for hours. You gotta tell me what Gabe was like as a kid. Any ammunition you can give me? <laughs> he acted cool, but he was really a big dork. Like, one time he was pretending to stage dive and fell off the bed, sprained an ankle. It was funny. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you being here is a game changer in the Gabe embarrassing department. All right, you're looking at 20 even. No, no way. I can't believe you're doing this no. again. Come on. Do you have any idea how much time I've put into this? You just... No, dude, I can't come over there. I'm working. <sighs> it's called a job. Maybe you'd understand if you ever had... I can watch the boost if you gotta get out of here. Hey, hold, hold on a sec. Are you serious? Well, you have a playlist, right? I think I can handle that. You're a lifesaver. Oh, no bird calls, though. I'll be there, one sec. <sighs> Organizing a LARP shouldn't be this hard. Okay. Sorry. I was just a little thrown for a moment. Thanks. You got it. <sighs> Somehow I knew I'd find you in here. Things went well with Charlotte? Thanks to your help. I can't wait for you guys to meet. I think you'd be great friends. Speaking of, my two favorite people in my favorite place. What have you guys been up to? Just looking around. This place is pretty sweet. Every time I'm in here, it reminds me of you. I'm not surprised you like it. Anyway, I'm glad you two met. Not only is this dude my best friend, he's the best guide to Haven you could ever find. <laughs> and this dude, Hands me the best beers? <laughs> hey, by the way, Mac was in here earlier, and uh, he really wants to talk to you. He knows where to find me. Anyway, my shift starts in 20. Ready to go? Tag along? I'll catch up. I got a radio show to host. I should check in. Do you mind? No, yeah, of course. What up, Monster Slayer Thanor? Hey. One week to the LARP, you stoked? Hell yeah. Atta boy. Though we gotta talk road trips next. It's a long drive to Denver. Are we driving with Steph? We'll see. She's a GM, so she's gotta be in Denver pretty early. What are you doing tonight? Mom says I'm supposed to stay at the Lantern until she gets off work. But I kind of want to hang out at home. Is that OK? Do you, man. <laughs> but I'm going to check that homework later tonight, though. Better be done, Capiche. Capiche, good to meet you. Yeah, same. See you around. So weird seeing you do the dad thing. Dad thing? No, 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 no. No, no, I'm better than a dad. I'm like dad plus. <laughs> we trust each other. He tells me stuff he doesn't even tell Char. 
Ethan didn't tell Gabe about going to explore the old mine. He trusted me to keep his secret. Should I? Or should I blow his cover? I should probably tell you something. Shoot. Earlier when Ethan and I were talking, he mentioned exploring some old mine. Oh, man. He seemed like he knew what he was doing, but I thought you'd want to know. <laughs> this fucking kid. I'm going to tell Charlotte. Just give me a sec. Ooh, Ethan's in trouble. Really? We'll see. I appreciate you telling me. You did the right thing. What do you say we get you settled in? So, this is what a mining town looks like. Thought there'd be more guys in overalls running around. With soot all over their faces? Exactly. What do they mine here, though? Used to be silver back in the day. And now? Uranium. They blow these big holes in the mountains and sell it off to nuclear power plants. Oh. Yeah. We'll actually be able to hear a blast later tonight. It's pretty intense. Sounds like it. Look who it is. Jed! Hey, got someone I want you to meet. Alex, this is my buddy Jed. Bloody hell, will you listen to this horse shit? His boss, he means. You own the Black Lantern. For the last 12 years or so. It's good to meet you, Alex. Heard a hell of a lot about you. Oh? Only bad stuff. Mostly lies. Your brother's full of shit, you know that? <laughs> he just about wet himself waiting for you to get here. <laughs> I was excited to see him, too. Guess we're an almost wet-yourself kind of family. Ha! <laughs> I like her. Yeah, she's okay, I guess. We're heading in. You coming? Uh, in a minute. Supposed to meet Eleanor to talk spring festival decorations. He tell you about the festival yet? Not in detail. I'll fill you in later. Like, you do not want to get this guy started. I'm loquacious, goddammit. It's charming. Oh, before you leave, word of warning. Max got that old bug up his ass again. So I've heard. Yeah. So just, you know, eyes open. Anyway, you guys go settle. Alex, pleasure. I'll mind, Jed. So, spring festival equals mountain prom. It's a lot cooler than it sounds. Not possible. I'm picturing some straight-up wicker man shit. Oh, you've been before. Shit, man. This is all yours? Don't sound so surprised. When you said that you had a nice place, I was picturing small but homey. Well then, welcome to my crib. <laughs> Seriously, this is great. And the best part is, it's actually yours. I'm mostly staying at Charlotte's now.
Gabe, I love it. Good. I mean it. I don't know what to say. You can say thank you. Or maybe you're the best. Or I'm definitely naming my first and third born children Gabriel or Gabriela. <laughs> sure thing. Didn't we already do the whole staring at me thing? It's just... You look a lot like how I imagined you'd be. Yeah? Do I look how you expected? You haven't really changed. Really? You still look 15. Wait, shut up. I mean, obviously you're like a man, dude. But you still have the same facial expressions and stuff. You're still you. Thanks. Which is good, because if you weren't still you, I'd have to give your gift to someone else. Wait, what? Surprise. Wait, is this... This is the album I requested. I know, I'm good. I was gonna get this for you. Well, I got it for you first, so I get the credit. <laughs> oh yeah, go get him, bro. <laughs> Lifetime of practice. <laughs> Your turn. Just give me a sec. Yeah! Hey, Mac. Can I help you? Something's wrong. I read Riley's phone. I know you've been meeting with her behind my back. It's not what you think, Mac. Oh, good. Because I thought you were fucking my girlfriend! Dude, I promise, you've got it all wrong. Tell me why I shouldn't kick your ass right now! No. No, 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 not here. No, no, not here! It's not my place, man. You really need to talk to your girlfriend. I'm talking to you! Away from him! 
I didn't... It's okay. You're just a fucking psycho. You could both go fuck yourselves. I'm so sorry. Don't worry about it. Fuck. Wait, Gabe. Alex. It's fine. I gotta go stop my shift. Great. I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. I guess I might as well unpack. Oh God. Shoo Shoo's gonna look so grungy on this nice bed. She's gotten me through some hard times, but I was hoping we were done with that. Ethan's really talented. Crazy how much we've changed. No way.
Guess Gabe didn't cut out our parents. How mature. Look at them. Mom's healthy. Dad's only kind of an asshole. My journal. Time to add my latest meltdown. So Gabe and Riley have been working on her interview and Mac thought they were sleeping together? This is fucking stupid. Ugh. I'll finish this later. No fucking way. Well, Alex, you just went nuts and beat the shit out of somebody in front of your brother. So, how are you feeling right now? When you were here before, couldn't look you in the eye. Dressed like an angel Your skin makes me cry You float like a feather In a beautiful world I wish I was special You're so very special But I'm a creep I'm a weirdo What the hell am I doing here? I don't belong here Whatever makes you happy Whatever you want You're so very special God, I wish I was special But I'm a creep I'm a weirdo What the hell am I doing here? I don't belong here I don't 
Pom-pom. Here. You and your damn surprises, Gabe. Being here is too good to be true. I'm not gonna let anything mess it up. I should go downstairs and set things right with Gabe. I know I kicked the drywall crack when I see one. Brian, just forget it. Stop that. You need to take care of yourself. Got Mac patched up. Let's take a look at you now. Oh, looks pretty nasty right about here. <clears throat> It hurts when you breathe? Alex, you made it. Charlotte, right? Put some ice on it. I'm sorry you had to see that fight. What a terrible first impression. Dad, I'm taking Gabe to the station. We need a first aid kit that doesn't predate the discovery of bacteria. It's fine. I don't need to go. Well, Ryan knows what he's doing now. You just go with him. <sighs> Alex, I'll be back soon, okay? Okay. Well, there goes my bartender and my backup bartender. I love that. It's a falling star? Yeah. Or rising. Depends on the day, I guess. So, what's it doing today? Wow, <laughs> I don't know. Today's been a roller coaster so far. I can imagine. I heard Ethan gave you an issue of his comic. He obviously thinks you're really cool. I know literally nothing about kids, but he seems like one of the good ones. I appreciate that. He's my favorite person. By the way, thanks for telling us about the mine. Ethan's not allowed up there anymore. Yeah, no problem. I hope he won't be mad at me. You did the right thing. Beef pie special. Watch the gravy. <laughs> Jed, you didn't have to. Now, Ryan said you're skipping dinner. No starving artists on my watch. I do have to get going. I'm making some pieces for the Spring Festival, and they have to be done tonight. Sorry I couldn't talk longer. Oh, that's okay. So glad you're here, Alex. I'm looking forward to getting to know you. Yeah, same. Bye, thanks for supper. Yep. So I'm short-staffed at the moment. Gabe tells me you've worked at a restaurant before. A couple years experience as a server? Uh... Maybe not as long as that, but yeah, I've done lots of things. You want to work a shift? See if you might like it here? Sure. All right. So, we have a few folks that need checking on. Ducky and Diane over there. Steph over here. Uh, there's a table in the back that needs clearing also. 
you can give the food orders to me, and I'll handle anyone here at the bar. All right? Got it. It's really nice to have you here, Alex. Thanks. Guess I'm a server now. <laughs> can I get you to anything? Miss Chen, here at last. Asked to relieve our suspense. Hi. I am Reginald McAllister, the third, ducky to friends, former entrepreneur, now retired. And this young woman is Diane. Hey there. Nice to meet you. I didn't realize that... Uh, that we all knew you were coming. Yes. Gabe is generous with uh, both friendship and information. You're from Portland, right? I moved here from D.C. six months ago. How are you finding the small town thing? I didn't really know what to expect, but it's kind of perfect. <laughs> it feels like a home. I know, I know. I really thought I would hate it. Then I saw the mountains, met some people, and now I'm never leaving. Diane is a geologist, recently working as a process manager for Typhon Mining. I'm glad there's another newbie around here, too. Can I get you anything? Oh, yeah, we're super hungry. I'd love a pie special with fries. Cheeseburger with mushrooms, and my usual to drink. Jed will know what to do. All right, I'll go put that order in. Thanks. My dad was in the service. Hey, Jed. Yeah? I've got an order from Ducky and Diane. Ryan seems like a sweet guy. That's Charlotte's dispensary. She seems cool. Go ahead. One cheeseburger with mushrooms. Uh huh, and? One pie special with fries. Ducky asked for his usual? Yeah, he did. Yeah, he's fond of a particular rye whiskey. I keep a personal bottle for him. Oh, that's odd. I don't see it. Oh, now wait. I bet Ducky took that bottle upstairs last night. Yeah, he and Gabe went on carousing long after closing. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Serves him right if you ask me, but feel free to go upstairs and look for it. I'm sure he'd be grateful. Oh, if you can't find it, Deputy Pike was with them. Might have some idea. He's usually in here around now. Probably arriving soon. There must be something around the Black Lantern that can help me find Ducky's prized whiskey. Typhon's not a bad company. What? Alex, right? I'm Steph. Hey. Just seeing if you need food or anything. Oh no, I'm good. Thanks though. Sorry I couldn't hang out at the record store. I've got some time now though if you want to chat. I should get back to work. Okay. There must be something around the Black Lantern that can help me find Ducky's prized whiskey. All right, let's see if I can find Ducky's whiskey up here. The 
This all looks really fancy, but no rye whiskey. Now I know where the ramen is. No whiskey, though. Nope. Nothing. Do I want to know? Guess I kind of gave Gabe the runaround, huh? Anita and Eduardo. They were one of the good ones. Wow. Gabe's been looking for me for a while. There must be something around the Black Lantern that can help me find Ducky's prized Still whiskey. Want to hit the trails later this week? You kidding? I've been waiting for this all year. Shit. Now Mac's scared. At least he's not freaking out anymore. He won't make me lose control. Holy shit. Can I talk to you real quick? What do you want? Listen, what happened upstairs was fucked up, right? From both of us. Where are you going with this? Look, Riley's headed over here. She's pretty heated. I, I, I don't think it helps to recap all the gory details, you know? <laughs> so you're saying you want me to lie to cover your ass? No. No, just, like, let me handle it. Look, she's gonna break up with me otherwise. We've been together four years. She is the best thing that's ever happened to me. So please, help me out. I, I don't know, man. Shit. What the fuck is wrong with you? Oh my god, look at your face. No, it's okay. Don't even. What were you thinking? Where's Gabe? Why do you give a shit? Because my boyfriend just got into a fight with him. 
I swear. This is it. You better have a good explanation or... We're done. It's, it's not my fault. I just wanted to talk to the guy. About what? About you! About why you guys are meeting behind my back. Okay. So how did the fight happen? The bastard sucker punched me. Okay, um... Not exactly sucker punched, but... He definitely started it. Oh god. Were you there too? Yeah, I was there. Max telling you a whole lot of bullshit. You know what? That doesn't even surprise me anymore. So what really happened? Riley. Mac barged in, accused Gabe of sleeping with you, sucker punched him, and then kicked him while he was down. Riley, listen. What happened to Mac's face? I did that. Oh, good. It sounds like he deserved it. Thanks for telling me the truth, Alex. Wait. Wait, are you... are we okay? Are you fucking serious? I'm so embarrassed by you right now. But are we still together? What do you think, you fucking idiot? No. Alex Chen? Uh... Assaulting Mac Loudon on your first day here, huh? Jason Pike, the deputy sheriff. I'm going to take you in for questioning. Mac assaulted Gabe. He's the one you want. <laughs> your face. <laughs> you should see your face. Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, I'm only kidding. Uh, nobody's in trouble here. I, <laughs> Gabe and I just like to prank each other. <laughs> <laughs> I've never been pranked by a cop before. <laughs> you definitely got me. <laughs> Thanks for being a good sport. Can I buy you a drink? Um, maybe. I'm working right now. Well, I'll be at the bar. You want one, you just come by, okay? <sighs> Hey, Alex. Were you hanging out with Ducky and Gabe last night? Who told? <laughs> <laughs> so, Ducky apparently lost his favorite whiskey. Possibly upstairs? Oh, no. You remember seeing him with it? No, when I left, he was still down here. Oh, but you know what? You should check Gabe's wall of shame. Might have some incriminating evidence. <laughs> okay, thanks. I will. Well, I've got to get back to work. Later, Alex. Are you finished up with everything you want to do? Actually, not yet. This one's from yesterday. Hold up. It was Colonel Ducky on Gabe's couch with the bottle.
found this upstairs. In Gabe's couch? Really? Must have been a night. Many thanks, Alex. My pleasure, Ducky. Can I pour you a glass? Uh, no, no. Allow me. To Miss Alex Chen, a most tenacious detective. To Alex. Cheers. done what Jed asked me to do. I should see if he needs anything else. Are you done now? Yeah, I took care of everything you mentioned. Is there anything else you'd like me to do? Nah. Nah, the boy should be back soon. Well, speak of the devil. How you feeling? Not great. Not awful. I got Alex covering for you. For real? We need to talk. I'll be on the rooftop, okay? Okay. I think that's enough for today. You did great work. You'll be a damn fine addition to our team. You can't keep an injured man waiting. You better go upstairs. Thanks. We'll see you tomorrow. Okay. Time to talk to Gabe. Haven has an indie movie theater. Impressive. How's your jaw? Is the pain bad? Look, Gabe, I'm really sorry. I... I like to hide beers around the house. Because, well, you never know. You never know what? You just never know. So, need a manager for your underground cage fighting career? Gabe, I'm really sorry. How many bones have you broken? Like, on other people? Dude. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to hurt you. Don't apologize. I'm fine. Now that we're talking about it... I guess I never realized. That I can kick your ass? Yeah, I guess. You know, I never realized what your life must have been like. On your own. 
It was fine. You know, when I pulled you off the Mac and you hit me, I, I was angry. Then I thought about how you took him apart. Like you've done it before. Kids in foster care fight a lot. I learned how to defend myself. I'd say. I can tell there's something going on with you. Something troubling you. Maybe it's time you open up. I want to talk to Gabe, but what can I even say right now to explain what happened with Mac? Growing up in the system was hell. In my first foster home, an older boy followed me into the bathroom, so I pushed him out. He got angry. So did I. Then I broke his nose. I was 14. In the second home, one of the other kids committed suicide. And I couldn't eat for a month. After a couple of weeks in the fifth home, I got so depressed that my new parents sent me to a hospital. I never saw him again. The hurt follows me everywhere. It's the other kids get adopted, leave the system, not me. They never picked me. I'm broken. Do you really believe that? Wouldn't you? After all this time, it's hard not to take it personally. And it just keeps happening. It never stops. Then I look at you. You've got a home, a job, a girlfriend. Got it all figured out. And I don't. I don't need a light. Just take it. What is this? A reminder. Looks like a match to me. That was the last matchbook I got when I was still in juvie. Did some pretty unsavory stuff to score it. And you still have it? Yeah. I carry it with me everywhere. When I got out, I went through the last few matches real quick, obviously, but I, I could never bring myself to use the last one. It reminded me how bad life got and how much better I was gonna make it. I don't know what to say. You're welcome. I 
When I found Haven and Charlotte, I couldn't believe they were real. Everything before was such hell. Now it's different. You can do the same. Start a new life. You made it out of the system, Alex. You survived. It's time to move on. It's not that simple. I've made so many mistakes. We all have. Survival isn't a neat and tidy process. But it's way better than the alternative. And don't forget, I'm here to help you. That's not gonna change. Tell me about the guitar. Oh, shit. You found it. It was supposed to be a huge surprise. Surprise? <laughs> well, what do you think? I love it. Thank you so much. Of course. Welcome home. Oh, hey, dude, what's up? Hey, is Ethan up here? No, he was heading home. He was, but I haven't seen him in a while. You don't think... Maybe? Fuck, maybe he did. What is it? I think he went up to the mountains. If he actually did, we need to move. Now. Let's go. Ethan! Come on, pick up, pick up. Alex! This way. since I was up here. Should I be, I don't know, freaking out right now? In my experience, freaking out is almost never advisable. Any luck? In touch base with the safety team up at the site. They're gonna postpone tonight's blast until we find them. Oh, at least we're not racing the clock. Hey. You good? Charlotte's got to be losing it right now. Hey, she's tough. Always has been. Come on, let's take a look around. This kid. Can you imagine the shit we would have caught from Dad if we'd done anything like this? Hey. We're gonna find him. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Hey, thanks again for your help. Could have been a lot worse if you hadn't kept me in the loop. Of course. I'm gonna go take a look around. Let me know if you spot any sign of Ethan. Sure. I can do that. How was Ethan planning to get into the mine? Maybe. 
maybe Julie McNamara doesn't need your approval. the rubber zombie the least creepy thing out here the real monster here is underage drinking you don't realize until you're up close but mining equipment is super murdery my joyride in this will have to wait until after we found ethan they were gonna set off charges tonight Thank God Gabe got a hold of them. Probably not as fun to ride in as they look. What happened here? Massive cave-in. Bunch of trapped miners. All nearly died. Jed led the whole team back to the surface. God. Yeah, that's the day Foreman Jed became local hero Jed. And then Typhon closed up this site, basically bought Jed the Black Lantern. Huh. Same logo. Did Ethan base his comic on this place? Okay. Okay, if the wall is an illusion... Nothing obvious. Maybe we should... Notice anything? No shit! I'll be damned. The whole story is about Ethan's character breaking into a monster stronghold deep underground. Sounds like the mind of me. Does it show where he went? Not sure. The comic ends with the monster hunter climbing a watchtower, which shows him where to go. There. The silo. I bet that's the tower. That's where he went. You're a genius. Yeah. Great find, Alex. Gabe, you want to take a crack at unlocking that gate? I'm on it. We should also be able to get to it through the processing building. If we can find a way in. Let's take a look then. Okay. Ethan based his comic on this place. Maybe I should compare his drawings with other stuff in the area. Wait, so, did Ethan? Oh, man. I think there's like a side door back there? I don't know. I can guess there might be. Give me a hand. Okay. You figured that out from a comic book. I'm gonna try to get the lights on. You try to figure out where Ethan went. Ethan must have come through here. How did he get out? Ethan must have gone upstairs. Pretty sure Ethan climbed the-
wasn't in the comic. Not in the comic. The silo. We're getting close. Ethan made the jump from here to the conveyor belt? Oof. Think I'll find another way through. Looks like Ethan climbed the conveyor belt out. Heads up! You figured out the door! Yeah. Turns out you gotta open it. Who knew? I'm 100% sure that if I picked up the receiver, there'd be like a demon voice on the other end. Brian seems like he knows what he's doing. What took you so long? You never forget how to break a lock. It's like riding a bike. Where to next, Alex? Thanor looks out from the watchtower and spots the secret entrance to the stronghold. If we can just... There. That's where he's heading. That's by the ravine. Shit. Let's go. We close? I think so. Ethan! 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 Ethan? You okay? Don't worry, we're gonna get you out of here. Just hang on. Don't! Don't, 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 don't! His fear is so strong. If I get near it... 
It's no good. We're too heavy. Shit. What about me? Alex, are you sure? Remember how I taught you how to anchor a belay? Awesome. Show me. You okay? Doesn't really feel like that's relevant right now, to be honest. It's relevant to me. Okay, well... I'll let you know when I figure it out. I'm gonna hold you to that. Alex, can you make eye contact with me? I'm gonna tie this rope around your waist. The other end is tied around your brother. He'll use that stump as a fulcrum to feed rope your direction. Follow? So far. Awesome. You're doing super good. Remember, slow is steady. Steady is fast. Piece of cake. Piece of cake. Hang on, Ethan. I'm coming. You got this, Alex. Go back! You'll get hurt! I'm not going back without you. You're stuck with me till we're both safe. Hey, Ethan, I'm here to help, okay? No! Get away! Shit! It's too much. I have to get him to chill out. <sighs> Ethan, I need you to calm down. Can you breathe for me? I should never have come out here! I was so stupid! Okay, hey, hey, focus. Talk to me. You wanna tell me how you got out here? I was trying to cross to the other side. A log fell. That's fine. That's okay. Let's talk about what comes next. Gabe's got us. We're not gonna fall. He's got the other end of the rope. No, I can't move if I move. You're not gonna fall, buddy. It doesn't matter. He's not making any sense. I need him to calm down. We can't stay here, Ethan. We have to- It'll see me. If I move, it'll see me. What's gonna see you? You don't understand. He's right. I don't. I can't help him if I don't understand what he's afraid of. And the only way to understand is to feel what he's feeling. Oh, fuck. I can't believe this is happening. I can do this. I can do this.
to be afraid of. I got you. But what if you let go? Shit. Do you think the log will break? I don't know. But if it does, I am gonna hold on to you so tight, okay? Okay. That's it. Come on. There you go. I got you. 